Hello everyone, it's Dada from Trade Guardian again. Sorry if I kept you waiting too long. Uh, <coughs> this is the continuation. Sorry, I got a bit of cold. This is a continuation to how to build a trading robot under 15 minutes. Well, time doesn't matter, but let's say how to really build it quickly. Um, and in part one, uh, as you can see on a Trade Guardian YouTube channel, we created this here. Now, let me quickly remind you how it worked. We created two hubs to begin with. The buy hub for all our buying actions, and then we created the sell hub for our selling actions, and we assigned group one to everything buying, and then group two to everything selling. Now, I'm not going to go into the same details again, so please, if you don't understand some of what I'm trying to tell you now, please watch the original part one, where I explain it all in detail. You can, you know, rewind it as many times. Now, in this final section of this uh, tutorial, we just basically need to add a trailing stop to our trades. Now, if you remember, when we were placing the pending order, we didn't define any take profit. We had stop loss defined, but not take profit. And even then I told you that that's only because we're going to be using trailing stops. So, finally, again, sorry if I'm late with the part two because I was away for a bit. Now, finally, we can finalize a trading robot EA by adding the crucial trailing stops. So, there we go. On the left hand side here are all our tools that we ever need. Just to remind you, we are on in FX Dreamer. We are using FX Dreamer, which is on FX Dreamer website. So, go there. It's free uh, for this edition that I'm using. But if you want more sophisticated features and saving your project uh, work, etc., then you would need to pay a subscription fee. But for this example, the free version is what I'm using, and the free version should be enough for you as well. Okay, now, quick reminder, buy hub, sell hub. Then we have spread filter, not to trade unless the spread is under the limit that we allow it to be. And we also put in a weekday filter for us to choose which days of the week the robot should trade and which it shouldn't. The only piece missing is the trailing stop. Now, trailing stop is actually called here a trailing stop or break even. Now, because we have two groups, one for buys, group one for buys and group two here for sells, we need two trailing stops but we don't want trailing stop each trade we are after trailing stop for group of trades let's get them out so trailing stop group of trades there and trailing stop group of trades there as well this the first one is going to be for our buys and the second one is going to be for our sales like I said, watch the previous video for explanation of how the groups work and how we design them. For now, we're just adding the final element, which is trailing stops. Now, how do we do this? We take this spare connection from Buy Hub, click on it once, and hold it and connect it to the top of trailing stop, and do the same for the cells. Now, we're going to redefine sorry, define even, origin of trades needs to be group one. Again, watch the previous video to understand why, because our buys are group one. And this trailing stop will trail only the buys. And then the type should be buys only. Here's where we define the actual trailing stop distance. For this robot, 1.3 pips should be enough but by ticking this little box here we're making it adjustable later so not to worry for now but 1.3 in my opinion is a good distance to trade a stop because remember this robot trades impulse really strong signals and the trailing stop needs to follow it really really fast now trailing step should be 
0. But also ticking this box makes it adjustable, completely adjustable later when you're testing your robot or even when you're trading it. So to recoup, what we did is got the trailing stop modules from trailing stop break even box here on the left, but we chose trailing stops for groups instead of individual. Why we have we have one group for buys and another group for sells, and that's why. And this is done. So you click in update, it updates our buying options. Now we need to do the same for sell. Now for sell, the origin of trades needs to be group two. That's what we assigned in the first part of this tutorial to our sales hub. And instead of buys or sells, just sells only. We're doing the same. 1.3 pips the trailing distance and the trailing step 0 pips so basically it maintains 1.3 pips we can change this all later because these boxes are ticked click update and here you have the full robot with a trailing stop which was missing from part 1 and with everything else explained as well hope it helps hope you will you know make some money out of it just to remind you after all of this is done you click here at the top mq4 for your code file of the whole robot or ex4 would be your compiled file unfortunately you cannot edit ex4 so for these reasons you should export it mq4 which makes it editable in the MQL editor or any other, even text editor, if we know what you're doing. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hope this helps, and I'll see you soon with my next one. Bye-bye. Ciao for now.